Hi, today I'm going to teach you what book value is. So book value is assets minus liabilities. So what assets are is what the company owns. Things like factory buildings, products, what a company owns that it can sell for money. Liabilities, on the other hand, is what a company owes. Debt, mortgage payments, these would be examples of liabilities. So basically when you're looking at book value, when you're thinking about it, you're thinking if the company closed down, pay, sold everything they had and paid off all the things, the financial payments they needed to fulfill, paid off all their debt, all their mortgage payments, how much would they be left with? Sell everything, pay off everything, what's that number? That is what we call book value. All right? So. I'm going to give you an example. So company A, all right? Price of company A, price per share is $18. All right? Price per share $18. Their assets Their assets are say 80 million. All right? They're, if they sold everything, they would have 80 million dollars. Their liabilities, things they need to pay off, financial payments they need to meet. Their liabilities are, say, $5 million. Okay? So, this would give them a book value of, let's go to the formula, book value equals assets minus liabilities, selling everything off, paying off their debt, that gets us to 75 million. All right, that is their book value. But this figure alone doesn't really tell us much. When we're looking at price per share of $18, book value for the entire company doesn't tell us much. So what we want to do is we want to convert this book value to per share as well because we're not paying $18 for the entire company. We're paying $18 for one share of the company. All right. So let's say this company has, has say 5 million shares. So shares, 5 million. So 5 million shares of $18 are being owned, okay? 5 million shares. So now we want to know what the book value per share is. So all we do is take the book value, divide it by the amount of shares there are, and that will get us 15. So the book value per share is $15. All right. So a lot of you may be wondering where you can get this information. So on Google Finance, that's the website I like to use. When you go to a company's information on the left, it'll say you're on summary. Just go down a little and you'll find financials. From financials, go to the balance sheet, okay? The balance sheet is where you can find information like assets, liabilities, shares, things like that. But you'll have to calculate the book value on your own using this simple formula. Okay? So now let's talk about how this situation is looking. So you are paying $18 a share for a company that is essentially worth $15 per share. So if they close down tomorrow, sold everything they had, paid off all their debt or their mortgage payments, they would be at 75 million. But this 75 million is not owned by one person. It's owned by 5 million shareholders. So you divide that by 5 million and you get $15. So you're paying $18 for a company that's essentially worth $15. So this is not bad. There are companies out there you'll find where their book value per share is higher than their price. So that means they're worth a little more than what you're paying. 
which is really good. And you should look further into those companies. There will be companies which will be priced at $18, yet their book value per share will be a measly $2. Those are the companies I would go away, edge away from, because that's just not a good deal for me as an investor. This is not bad, there's nothing wrong with looking further into this company, okay? So this is not a hard and fast rule to buying stocks, it's just one of the many things you look at. So you will look at this, you will take it into account, and you'll look at other factors as well, but this is one of the important factors. You should always look at book value when you're looking at your stocks and researching companies. All right, this is Mr. Sony Bros. If you like um, my videos, please subscribe. If you want me to make more with a certain topic, please tell me in the comment box below. Thank you.